you can see the top of my water heater and it's maybe two two and a half feet from the ceiling in the water closet so there's no way to put a regular size anode rod this water heater 50 gallon so you have to get the, these hinged as i call it anode rods that will come in here and bend as they go in first things first turn the power off on this thing Has a breaker to pull it all the way out. You can turn it upside down. Step two is turn the water off. And then put waters off. Step three is to connect the hose and release the pressure. is to release the pressure on the top of the tank. Okay, now the water is not going to come shooting out. Now on top of tanks, this is an electric tank that have anode rod replacements, you're going to see some kind of cap. And the first time you try to find anode rod top, you should pull the cap off and you dig down. There, you can see the nut head. I've had them half inch an inch. I had one that was down like three inches. I had the water heater replaced because I couldn't get enough torque to replace that nut. So we're going to take this out. I got that thing unscrewed. You can see the old anode rod. All of that stuff is missing right there. Oh yeah. Still got some here. See how it bent when I put it in. I think we're just going to replace this whole thing. Still got metal on it, just not at the top. Okay. Okay, you can see that the old one out. You put the new one in. Okay, I got this on here nice and tight. Let's go put it in, screw it on. And we'll put some thread material on those threads also. I'm going to go tight enough, but I don't want to crack the tub. That should be good. We'll do a test, leak test. Okay, we'll turn the pressure relief off. We'll leave the power off. We'll turn the water on. Yeah. It's giving us a little flush anyway. It's about time to flush out the tank. The side job is to just do a quick flush to see some of the sediment comes out. That's not bad for a year and a half. The rental rods help. Okay. We've got the power on, which means it's heating up, which means the pressure increases. And so we'll keep an eye on this, make sure it doesn't leak out here before we give it a wrap. 